previously on the season. I think it's just more of a psychological thing for me. Oh, defense, mate! You know, make sure you find your moments to start thinking about your role. We need to win this game in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Let's go, Dimmy! Let's go, hit Jared! Advantage, uh, Green. Advantage over! Call it Lockie! Call it Lockie! <laughs> Full pass, yeah. Depth! Depth! We've spoken about it all week. Mason, we've got a couple of penalties against you boys. Tackle release, make it clear, okay? Staying true to pre-game predictions, State High dictate all the play in the opening stanza and are rewarded early in the first half. Nice! Keep pushing, Stella! Keep pushing! Ball on, on side. Mason! That's you. Groomy, tell Mason he's got to get that. He can't wait for Lockie to get back. We've got to read that earlier. Again, Mason. Offside, okay, I got sideline called to, twice. Hey, listen up, it's all good. It's just basic, okay? We just need to get that ball, hold on to it. Breeze said stay in front of the scrum, in front of the pressure. Stay in front of the pressure the whole time. Stop, don't walk around the scrum. Boys, hey. yep. Boys. Stand next to Mace. It's going all Mason, good. Mace. Urgency. Come on. Mace, just that positioning at the back, you got to replay very quickly. So as soon as they pass Fix that it. side, bang, you got to sprint straight away. So don't wait for them to make the kick, sprint and get to it. Knowing they may not have the firepower to outmuscle their opponents, the home team do their best to disrupt the visitors' momentum. Nice, college, shots on, shots on! Hey, can you tell Huffy Forget about the like eight or the nine, he's got to connect with the 10. State High actually played really, really well and put us on our back foot. We actually got to a point where it's just like, okay, we actually might lose this if we don't really shape it up. They were much bigger than us. They were much more physical than us, but we knew that they were going to be a 20, 30 minute team and they did. They came out hard like Nudgy did. We were behind from the start. They were a good side, they had some good individuals and they really threw it at us. And uh, so emotionally, yeah, the boys were in a fight the whole way. Let's go guys, all you guys! Things aren't going perfectly for BBC. Hold it half, all the way, all the way. But there are touches of brilliance. Let's go, mate. Let's go, Jay. All the way, Jay. All the way. Get it out, Perron. Get it out. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Groomy. Tell Perron, just because we get close to their line doesn't mean we go into a bash. Yeah, BBC fixed their um, offside lines. Just stayed high on the odd occasion, just setting himself a bit too far. Okay. Listen up. Just because we're close to that line, boys, don't have to go to the bash. We gave them time to reset that line and defend them, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go. All game. All game. Let's go. Shots on here, boys. Let's go. Ooh, that was good. We have to lift our energy. We've got, we're sitting back, we're waiting for them to come to us. You know, on that kick chase, we had half the team just slowly jogging up and we end up with a two-man line. Some of the boys are doing, we need to do it all over the park. Everyone needs to get it done.
We need to calm our head, boys. We need to get back into our game, get back to our systems and our processes. You got it? Yeah. Let's go, boys. Heads in the game. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Get in there! Yeah! You just give it, give it! Go, go! That's another one. That's another one. Woo! Let's go, boys. Demi, let's go. Lift, let's go. It's our energy. All right, it's in your head. It's in your head. Let's go, boys. 50% at the moment. That's still pretty good. 50%. I don't know how many percent that is, but... The attacking prowess is undeniable. And for a short time, no one can stop BBC. We had our few players that, that got us over the line, but at the end of the day, it was a big team performance throughout the whole season, especially through the last two games. And I guess when they got to the end of that game, after the 70 minutes, they knew that they'd had to fight very hard to, to secure that victory. A lot of, there was a lot of good individual performances in that game, which I feel helped us put them back on the back foot and uh, change their momentum to us. People will say, oh, you guys ch almost choked, but, but really, they, they really gave it to us that day. And, Despite our best efforts, say they were there with us the whole game and we just came out on top. Everybody was a bit shell-shocked at the fact that we could lose our undefeated premiership, which gave us the reason for the second half to step up and play our hearts out just so we wouldn't be letting ourselves down. Cheers, boys. Well done. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Well done. Done, mate. Good year. We couldn't have played any worse. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Good stuff. Cheers, buddy. And just like that, the monkey slips off the back of several generations of BBC old boys. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Chief. Congratulations. Thanks, East Street. Well done, it was a lot of relief from the boys that it was over and that we'd done it. But at the same time, especially for the year 12s, it was, it was kind of sadness that, wow, we're done, you know? We won't be playing for BBC ever again. I was a bit nervous like, going into it, finally finishing it, not losing. We were just gonna miss like playing for BBC, missing the boys. They were in year 11. The only downside to it was that we weren't able to have our our mates and all our supporters there witnessing it with us. There was that sense of, wow, you know, we've, we've uh, just come through a really tough game. The impact of what they'd actually done um, started to really soak in and, you know, they could really celebrate, relax, enjoy um, all the hard work that they'd done and the achievements that they'd made. I was definitely most happy for uh, Jack, Jack Howarth because um, he'd been here for three years. He'd been, he'd worked so hard, he's a hard worker. And, Every year he'd put his best in, they'd just fallen short to come third and second. So I was just happy for him that he got to finish his schooling with a, a, a win, a premiership. Boys, three cheers for Perry to bet! Perry to bet! Perry What a fantastic day, what a great season, what a great year for BBC. Congratulations, yeah. boys. You made a lot of people happy, as you know. <laughs> Mason, Hugo, and to come over and get it? This hasn't been long, 66 years, and it's never been ours alone in the history of the GPS, 101 years. Yeah. What an amazing season it's been. Couldn't have asked for a better bunch of boys to do it with. So I get the honour with you guys to lift it up.
next time on the season. You know, for me, you know, I'm incredibly proud. Um, it will sink in very soon. Today, without a single shadow of a doubt, is one of the most momentous sporting achievements that BBC has had.